Hey guys, it's Vinny Lambo here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to play multiplayer on different emulators. For example, like Dolphin for the Wii or Simu for the Wii U. So what you guys are going to want to do first, uh, we have one of two strategies. One is through Steam, so if you just want to have your Steam friends added and you can join through Steam Remote Play, there's actually an exploit we are using to um, like manipulate Steam into thinking Dolphin is a Remote Play compatible game. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to download a Remote Play compatible game. And the one that's free is Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe. Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe is a free tic-tac-toe game as you guys can see and you just uh, have to download it and it's only 3 megabytes. So once you've done downloading your game, you're going to want to navigate to its local files. Once you're in the directory, you're going to have to also open up the file location of your emulator of choice. And once you're here, you can see that in our tic-tac-toe or whatever remote play game is, there should be multiple files, including the exe file and the steam API. What you're going to do in tic-tac-toe's directory is delete everything besides for the exe and the API. So luckily for us, since this is a 3 megabyte game, you can just delete the data file. In other games like Bro Force or Ultimate Chicken Horse or whatever other game, there may be more files. So all you have to keep is the exe and the API for now. What you're going to do now is that you're going to copy over all of the Dolphin files, or the emulator files of your choice, and copy them over to the Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe folder. Once that's copied over, you're going to copy the name exactly how it is from the Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe or whatever Remote Play compatible game you're using, delete that file, and rename your emulator's exe to the Remote Play game's exe. If you're typing it in, make sure you have the exact same spacing, spelling, and capitalization. So once you've done that, you can see that it's actually changed to the picture of the original Remote Play game, but with all the files from the emulator. Once you're done, you can close out both of those, and you can launch Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe. As you can see, it says I'm playing Tic-Tac-Toe, but it really just launched my emulator. All you have to do from here is just hop into the game that you want to remote play with and as you're going to see in the bottom right it actually thinks that you're playing a Steam game thanks to that Steam API file that you did not remove. So here's the remote play screen all you have to do is go to your friends list navigate to your friend and click remote play together. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to end this call so it doesn't keep ringing in the background and now you're going to be able to hop in with your friend and play the game. Make sure though, when you do hop in, you do configure your second player's Wii Remote to their controller as well. Make sure both of these are selected to emulated Wii Remote. And for your graphical settings here, you're going to want to make sure that you have 3D12 on, make sure it's your um, graphics card and not your software renderer, and do not use full screen. Because when you use full screen, it opens up a separate tab. Steam will not stream that, It'll, it'll only stream like the actual like game selector for your emulator. What you're going to also want to check is render to main window, therefore it'll open the game in this same dolphin window and it'll stream it to your friend. Should your compilation make it synchronous for the best frame rate and performance, and everything else should just be up to your decision. If you want to upscale it and make it better, I have mine 1440p because I have a 1440p monitor, but do whatever your hardware can handle. Everything else, just do whatever you want. So now that we're in the game and I configured my controllers, I can just plug in my Xbox controller and now I can control. And as you can see on the screen, there's two Wii motes, quote unquote, because it's emulating two controllers for me and my friend. So now you can just go through the motions, select your character and everything like that, and then you're good to race. So here's just a view of what my friend is seeing right now on his screen. And uh, it's basically just like the Wii, you know, we're both playing a split screen, we can see each other's screens. He's controlling Mario and I'm controlling Yoshi, and it's simple as that. The network connection thing in the bottom right can or cannot be accurate. Uh, in all the tests we did, it either was accurate and we got disconnected because of someone's internet connection was being poor, or it was just there flashing and nothing happened. So either way, it didn't like degrade the quality or anything, it was just there flashing, so. Now on to our second option for remote playing on emulators, and that would be using a third-party program called Parsec. 
This is exactly what you think it's for. You can play online, local, multiplayer. It doesn't have to be for emulators. This can just be a Steam Remote Play replacement if you're not playing through Steam but it's whatever your preference is. I do like Steam because it's so easy just to add your friends right from your Steam friends list. All you have to do to add friends on this is to send a discord-like .gg code. So all you have to do is just go to parsecgaming.com and download their newest installer. So once you've created an account and logged in here, all you have to do is just share your computer link code and it's just a .gg URL that you can just share to your friends. Once you've shared that link, it will show up on other people's Parsec app. You can then connect to their computer or they can connect to yours. And then once you're friended, your friend is just gonna join my computer and there'll be a little icon down here. I just click accept and then we're gonna hop into a game. In the end, both of these ways in order to have online remote play through emulators is very simple both ways. Um, it just depends on whether you want your Steam friends list or maybe a little higher quality through Parsec. That's all I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Share to your friends so they can also play with you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.